If you ever wonder if there is a way to filter several columns at once using Power Query, yes, there is a way. And today I'm going to show you two options on how you can do that. So let me show you. For today's example, I have this file with two tabs. I have two different ranges of data. Uh, let's pass this to Power Query. I can go to my data tab and I need to be inside of the range and select from table range, or I can right click and select get data from table range. I'm using Microsoft 365. So here is asking me if my table has headers. I'm gonna say, okay. The Power Query editor opens. I'm gonna press Control Shift Plus to zoom in. And here on the left, I have the name of the query, which is the name of the table that we just created. I'm gonna say this is gonna be demo one and I'm going to hide the query section so we have more room here on the table. Here on the right, uh, Power Query created this change type step for me. I don't need that right now, so I'm going to delete it. And let me show you here my column zone. I'm going to uh, click at the row, and from here, I want to remove the item total, so I'm going to cancel. Now, in my account name, I want to remove the item subtotal right here. So I'm going to cancel. I'm not going to remove it right now. And in my column type, I need to remove the item subtotal. As you can see, all the items that I have here um, contain the word total. So let's create a new column. So I'm going to go to the FX uh, here um, on the formula bar to create a new step. After the equal, I'm going to say table at column. Open parentheses, and it's asking me for a table that is coming from my previous step, source, which is the table that I'm seeing right here. The name of the new column will be filter. Uh, comma, and I need to provide the column generator as function, so the keyword each, keyword for a function. And what I want is Power Query is list matches any. Open parenthesis is asking me for a list. I want to provide that list, so I, I need to provide the curly brackets. That tells Power Query that this is a list, and inside of that list, I'm going to provide the name of the columns that I want to filter. So if I remember correctly, the first column was zone. I provide that inside of one set of square brackets, uh, comma. I'm going to provide also the name of account name, that column account name, inside of another set of square brackets. And the last column that I want to filter will be the column type. Uh, yeah, same thing, inside of another set of square brackets. And after the Closing curly bracket, I'm going to provide a comma, and it's asking me for condition. This list matches, it's asking me for a condition as function. So again, the keyword each, and I'm just going to expand my formula bar here. And the condition will be that text contains here. Uh, the text that I'm going to provide will come from every single column that I listed here. So for that reason, I'm going to provide the underscore. So this is telling Power Query to look at every single line of these columns. And the substring will be plural. That is the word or the text that I want to find in those columns. And But remember that total was all uppercase, right, in column uh, zones. So I need to account for that. Uh, remember, a power query is case sensitive. So I'm going to say ignore. Yes, compare ordinal ignore case. And that's it. So it's going to ignore if it's uppercase, lowercase, doesn't matter. It will just make sure that the text contains total. Um, cl closing parenthesis for the table at column at the end. Press enter. Now let's go to the end and see our column. So now we have true and false. The true is those items that match the word plural inside of these columns. Um, so I'm going to click uh, at the row, load more, and you can see it's only false uh, or true. So I'm going to remove true, say OK. And now if I go to my column type, I don't have any subtotal. If I go to my account name, I don't have any subtotal as well. You can see here, no subtotal at all. And my column zone doesn't have the total anymore. Okay, so I'm going to collapse the formula bar here and delete the column that we created just to filter. 
and delete, and then the filter is there, so I'm ready to go. So let me show you the second option. I'm gonna go home, close and load, close and load to. We need to bring the other range of data. So uh, only create connection, okay. Okay, from here, we are gonna go to the next tab, general data, and same thing. I can right click here and get data from table range, or I can go to my data tab and click add from table range. And same thing, it's gonna ask me uh, if my table has headers, I'm gonna say, okay. Power Query Editor opens. Uh, as I said, I'm using Microsoft 365, Control-C plus to zoom in. Uh, here on the query section, I'm gonna expand this, have the name of the query, which is the name of the table. This will be now demo two. I just double click to edit, or I could also um, press F2 to edit. Um, same thing, Power Query created that change type step for me. I'm gonna delete that here on the apply the steps. And now here, what I want to filter, let's say on the type column, I don't want the revenue. And here, what I don't want in the account name will be um, other. I don't want that there. And let's say in the department, I don't want the department purchasing, okay? So as you see, I don't have any common word or part of the word that uh, these items share. So for that reason, we are gonna use another function in this example. So I'm gonna go to the formula bar and click at FX. And after the equal, I'm gonna say table at column, open parentheses, and the table is coming from my step source. The column will be called filter, just like we did it in the previous table. And from there, I'm gonna tell Power Query to process the following. Here will be list contains any. Open parenthesis, and it's asking me a list that this will be the list with the column uh, names. So what did I say? We will be department. So remember, will be inside of the square bracket. Every single name of each column will be inside of those uh, square brackets. The next column that I want to filter will be account name. And the last one will be the column type. Go after the closing curly bracket, and now I need to provide the values that I want to find, that I want to filter from those columns. And I need to provide this as a list. So again, I need to provide the curly bracket. Let me expand this, and let me move this to the next uh, line. Shift Enter to go to the next line, and Control closing square bracket uh, to indent a little bit. And my first item, that I want in this list will be purchasing. Remember, I don't want the item purchasing in that column department. I don't want the revenue in the column type, and I don't want the account name to be other, okay? Go to the end, close parentheses for the table at column, and I'm gonna press enter. And then let's see what we have in our column. True for the items that match to this list, false for the items that don't match. So here I have three truths which match with my department purchasing. And if we scroll down, here I have revenue and is also true. Now that I, I see this, I go to my column filter, click at the row and remove the truths. So by doing this, I remove all the items on this list, purchasing revenue order, and those items were contained in the department, account name, and type. So I go back to my last step where I filter, select the column filter, and delete. And that's it. We have our uh, table filter, all the columns at once. I hope you found this information useful. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and follow me in LinkedIn so you don't miss any of the new content. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.